Hello friends, welcome back to Let's Play Boulder's Gate, episode 54. So, um, wow, this is starting to get like Rocky or something. Rocky, movie 54, where Rocky is old and has grandkids. Some of you might be too young to get that joke, but... Heck, what am I talking about? This game is old. You all probably know it. Anyway, um... So, we're, uh, we just, uh... Allowed Prism to finish his masterpiece. Um, defeated Grey Wolf, the bounty hunter. Uh, not quite sure that he really deserved to die, but we really didn't have a choice. He attacked us. Uh, you can you can let Grey Wolf kill Prism. Uh, you don't get the bounty for it. You also do not. Um. He drops two really worthless gems, and they they aren't they they're worth they're worth nothing compared to the gems he dropped this t uh, now. Whoever has them, these the emeralds, and uh, but you can go and turn in the bounty, but you don't get a reputation point. So who's this guy? No, not I. Hey, wait, please! You've got to help me. They're after me. They'll be here soon. Ugh, gnomes can't stand them. Calm down, what's going on? He says that he was captured by kobolds, they stripped him down of all of his equipment, tortured him just to hear him scream, and uh, it's too late because there they are. But, uh, there's only four of them. That gnome must not have been quite an, quite an adventure, really, but, uh, you know, maybe he's just a normal gnome. Anyway, we'll, we'll save him. Took us, like, two seconds. I don't think there's anything else out here now. Probably some random things, like brown bears. No, that's a cave bear. Again. Somebody count! How many cave bears? A hundred? Two hundred? I don't even care anymore. Just die. Thank you. I swear, I started another file where I rolled a uh, cleric fighter mage and I did not run into this many cave bears. Yeah, cleric fighter mage, doesn't that just sound like everything in a bag of chips? Like, what can you not do? You can't disarm traps. That's like it. You can open doors, chests, you can find the traps, you can cast magic, you can cast offensive magic, you can cast healing magic, and you can fight. Oh well. I think it's a little too complicated. Plus, you can't excel in anything. You know, when you multi-class, you don't really get to become powerful in a sense of one direction or another. Oh, who are you? Sorry to bother you, but you should be aware of the danger you're in right now. Yeah, you, we were supposed to talk to this guy before we went into the mines. He's just warning us about the kobolds. Enough of that. Let's go find something else to do. Let's go to Nashka. Let's get attacked by ghasts, actually. Ghasts. These are the ones that nauseate you, right? I think all of the ghoul type creatures can hold hold you, but yeah, these are the ones that nauseate you. As Viconia just found out. Oh, Jahir has been held. That's great. Oh come on. Get out of there. Alright, all remaining party members attack that one. Iconia, get out of there. Imowen, run. Okay. Oh, Kelly's held now. That's okay. I don't want to do it. Kagan. What's that? Is that silver? Yeah, it's just silver, probably. Yeah. And that one silver necklace is just too heavy for him. Let's rest, since our fighters are held, and continue on our way. Hmm. Kind of a desolate little area. Let's go back to Nashville. I don't think, uh, and in fact, I'm sure, you can talk to Oblik and say that you uh, got Prism but I I don't know you're 
I don't know what I want to say about it. He might take the gems. I don't know for sure. Since that would be your proof of, of the fact that you killed him. But why would you want to give him the gems? I think he gives you a 300 gold reward. Compared to the probably 1,000 we're going to make off the gems. Don't mind us, we're just strolling through Nashkel. This place becomes a battle zone if your reputation is won, by the way. A battle zone. <coughs> most... Most, um... Cities do, though, when your reputation is bad. Hmm. Whoa. I really like this Nashkel store guy. He buys all the kinds of gems, whether it be crafted into something or the raw gems. He he does buy magical items. Um, the only things he doesn't buy... He, he buys magical weapons, and I think he does buy... Whoa. Oh, yeah, you can you can sell that for 1,500. Uh, so, 750 each. Yeah, he buys scrolls. He just doesn't typically buy... I know he doesn't buy arrows, does he? Yeah, but, oh well, who cares. Do we want any of these? I don't want Stinking Cloud. I'll keep Horror, and Sleep, and Protection from Evil, but we'll get rid of Larlock's Minor Drain. Uh, keep Color Spray, get rid of Blindness and Friends, and get rid of Shield. And the Pearl Necklace sells for 500. We'll make a quick check to see if anyone has any gems equipped. No, we didn't do that. And we'll n we'll need to do another identification fest. Since we picked up so many. No, sorry. Okay. Chesney can identify some of these, but, uh... Oh, right, we didn't rest. <laughs> Lovely bar music. I listen to it every day. Da 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 Yes, verification of my sanity has been put into question. Don't worry. You're not the only one who wonders about me. Do we have anything else that needs identified? Man, there's a lot of stuff. Medium shield plus one. I don't think anyone needs that. Is that it? Gee, how many Christmas? We've been away from town too long. Okay, the question is, is this a bastard sword, or is this a, uh... No, it's a long sword, and as one of our fans pointed out, I've had Khalid equipped with long swords. And he's proficient in bastard swords. I don't know what I'm thinking. Uh, I guess we'll buy him some bastard swords here. At any rate, we'll fix our inventory in the next episode, and... See you then, friends.